into the moon or whooshed round the sun. Well, climb aboard, my friends. There is exploring to be done. It's a splendiferous space explorer show. And we're lifting off in three, two, one, go! Here. The cat in the hat is about to appear. He's whizzing over to whisk you away on a fabulous journey today. He's coming! Now he's arrived in the thing of Majiga, the thing that he drives. He's a cat and he oodles of fun with his hairy helpless thing to a big one. leave just yet when there's still work to do, but we can get some protection from thing one and thing two. <laughs> this orbit is littered with junk on a stray. Please catch any pieces that come flying this way. to Mars, why does the space map show he's still here? Hey, what's with that? Hmm. Aha! I see exactly what's happened. We pulled Rover right out of his radio collar. Oh, no! Now astronaut Audrey won't know where Rover is. Or if he gets stuck somewhere again. Then we'll put this back on him. Chit chat. To the space eraser. Hurry, let's get out of here. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. <laughs> Mars. I'd know that planet anywhere. Me too, because it's red. Just like an apple, only much, much bigger, and without a stem. <laughs> Where do you start looking for a little dog on a big planet? On Earth, I check the nearest tree or fire hydrant. That, however, does not apply on Mars. Whoa! Ah! I'm a lot jumpier on Mars. Since Mars is about half the size of Earth, there's much less gravity holding you down. When you weigh so much less, you can really jump around. Woohoo! That's easy for you to say. I have fins, so I can only jump out of water. And there's not much of that around here. But your suit has a boot, so you can jump on Mars, too. Huh? <laughs> Look at that! I just grew a foot, and my spacesuit still fits perfectly. Thank 
you. My pleasure. I believe that makes me the first astronaut to actually catch a fish on Mars. <laughs> I think fish led us to an important clue. Huh? I did? What did I lead us to? Rover was here. Those are his tracks, aren't they? They are. I recognize those little robot paw prints anywhere. Yahoo! Yeah! Crater ahead! Don't trip on your lip! Base Rover really covered a lot of ground. And the ground he covered is getting covered with too much dust. I'm starting to lose track of his tracks. I hope it doesn't get any windier. Me too. Uh-oh, I found a Mars wind warning. Watch out for dust storms on Mars. Some are so big, they can cover the entire planet and last for days. If we don't find Rover soon, we won't have his tracks to follow. Well, I'll just have to clear dust off the trail with my cleaning machine. <laughs> ah. Small problem. I'm sucking up the dust and the paw prints. Wow! Oh dear. I'm glad we're wearing space suits. So am I. <laughs> Thanks, Cat. That's better. Yeah. Now, what about finding Rover? We'll continue this way until we pick up his trail again. Great! Okay, cool! Huh? Huh? Rover, it's him! Ah! Oh, poor Rover. Now, where did I put that radio collar? Hurry, Cat! Stay, Rover! Stay! Now I remember. I put it in my hat. I think we have a problem. Wait! Don't go yet, Rover! Not yet! Ah! I know what I can do! Okay! Do it quick! One Rover radio collar ready to go! Oh, no! Hold on to him, Nick! I'm Exploring in the way. Because. Explorers are never done exploring! Exactly! To the Space Emeraser! I don't see Earth. Are we going the right way? Of course we are! Astronaut Audrey's space map would never steer us wrong. It's upside down! Huh? Oh, <laughs> I guess we are going the wrong way. Cat, look out! <laughs> what was that? I don't know, but here comes another one! <laughs> this space highway is much too rocky. Where are we, anyway? We're somewhere called... The Asteroid Belt. The Asteroid Belt is a band of space rocks that orbit the sun, just like the planets do. We should take one back for astronaut Audrey. An excellent idea, Nick. She'd love an asteroid souvenir. Asteroids come in all sizes. Some small enough to hold in your hand. Some as big as a car. And some bigger than buildings. Cats, look out! Uh -huh. Whoa! Well, 
I'll take a smallish one, thank you very much. I'll scoop one up in a jiffy. Well, so it is. What a small world. I mean, solar system. <laughs> this is a dangerous place for Rover to be. Yeah, it's like crossing a busy highway. We need to help him. You're right. Let's scoop him up and carry him to safety. Wow! Asteroid alert! <laughs> While you're scooping up Rover, who's going to drive? Hmm. Oh, I know. My co-pilot. <laughs> Whoa! Ba -ba 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 but I've never flown a space -a eraser. Oh, you'll catch on quick. It flies like a dream. More like a nightmare if you're flying through asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> See? You've got the hang of it already. Now aim us at Rover, and I'll do the rest. Uh, I'll try! <laughs> now for the big swoop and scoop! How amazing is that? I caught an asteroid without even trying. Uh, woo, uh, <laughs> the whole solar system is spinning. In that case, I'd better do the driving. 